to another weekly vlog. So it is actually Sunday evening. I honestly didn't do much today. I went to the gym this morning, came home, showered, ate, and then I just basically did dishes, laundry. So it wasn't anything too exciting. I'm actually just in my washroom right now. I'm kind of going to straighten my hair and get ready because Alan and I are going out for dinner. So this is what my hair looks like air dried. My hair is literally pinched straight, but because it's so short, it literally like sits on my shoulders. So when it dries, it kind of like flares out. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it literally kind of goes like this because it's sitting on my shoulders. So I'm just gonna straighten the ends a little bit because honestly, I feel like it, I don't even know what it looks like. I just don't like it. It looks like so 80s or I don't know, but I just don't like the look. Alan and I, I think are gonna actually go for sushi and I'm so excited because we haven't had sushi in literally five months plus because of the whole COVID situation. We're not gonna go to like a super intense sushi place. We're actually gonna go to a restaurant called August 8, but it's like an all you can eat but buffet type of sushi type of thing. We've actually never been, but our friends Shauna and David, they always talk about it. They've been a couple times and they like it. Hair is done, didn't do much. Not putting any makeup or anything because it's nothing special. Just put this crop top on, long sleeve. This is from Shein and then these high-waisted like boxy kind of, I don't even know, these shorts. They have pockets also from Shein. If you haven't watched my try on haul, I will link that up above. We are en route. We literally just pulled out of the car and we're gonna be there in literally one second. It is so close to us. Like I mentioned, we've never been here before. Alan is not like a huge sushi eater, right? But like he likes the other things there, like the fried chicken, the shrimp tempura, the rice, this stuff like Honey that. Garlic chicken, sesame chicken, yeah. all that stuff. But, all the teriyaki yeah but i'm the one that likes the sushi the rolls and stuff like that so hopefully it's really good shauna texted me saying that they're so full and they really enjoyed it so hoping the same and we're literally already pulling in i'll show you guys right here oh you pulled oh, on the wrong side okay now we're pulling in alan accidentally pulled in over there but this is it what are you ordering I don't know. They got so much. Thank you. Happy Monday. So it's pretty late in the afternoon. Alan and I just got back from the gym and we did some grocery shopping. Alan is doing something right now because we have a little fun thing that we're going to book. I'll probably talk about it later tonight because we're gonna be booking it or possibly tomorrow i don't know but i'll let you guys know i'll keep you updated while he's doing that i'm gonna put away the groceries but i'm gonna show you guys what we got i love doing grocery hauls it's probably one of my favorite things to do and we bought a lot of stuff so i'm gonna share it with you now this is honestly a super realistic grocery haul because we got a lot of treats going on we'll start over here whole wheat english muffin everything bagel and then we bought buns because we're gonna have burgers sometime this week then for some snacks we got these cheese sticks as well as these pretzels we're gonna try them we really like pretzels we buy them all the time from the mall so we're gonna like put these in the oven and add salt and see how it goes then we got these cheese mini croissants i absolutely love ego so we got the cinnamon toast flavor and we also got chocolate chip then buenos alan's favorite and then we got this chocolate this is our favorite chocolate ever from lint milk chocolate with Oh, we bought the wrong one you bought milk chocolate with raisins hazelnut and almonds excuse me you bought the wrong one! And honestly, don't mind us. We got Is our laundry. This wrong? Huh? Both? Both of them are wrong. Uh, well, I'm never gonna eat these, so. <laughs> Can we return them, you think? Well, that's a bit sad. Literally did not realize until right now, so hopefully we can return it. I don't know. But, anyways, showed you the beef burgers we got. We needed ketchup, and then Alan got Fruitopia. We got a lot of protein, so rotisserie chicken. We're gonna have this for dinner tonight. I got extra lean ground beef. Probably gonna make tacos with this tomorrow or for my lunches. And then I got whole wheat tortillas. I showed you guys this one on my last weekly vlog. These were so dang good, so I bought more. Then I also got this carved turkey breast. This is really good in wraps or just on its own when I need some extra protein. Some frozen food for my lunches. So I got this beef Merlot. I'm pretty sure I bought this one last time in my weekly vlog and I'm going to try this one. It's a Power Bowl shiitake chicken. So it has like shiitake mushrooms, chicken, kale, pepper, edamame, all that good stuff. And it has 21 grams of protein. So hey. Then I got some shredded cheese for my 
my tacos and wraps and all that good stuff. I bought a big bag of spinach. Honestly, I wish this came smaller because it's a lot, but anyways, tomatoes, zucchini as always, banana, avocado, pepper, blueberries, strawberries, pineapple. We just finished dinner and literally the trip that I told you guys earlier about, I booked it. I completely forgot to vlog it. I was so excited. I just wanted to do it. So I'll quickly show you and give you a brief idea of where we're going and why and what we're doing. So this is our ticket. We're leaving this upcoming Sunday. It is already Monday. So this is really last minute. We're leaving 1030 AM. We're going to get in Calgary. That's where we're going. By the way, we're going to Alberta. We're going to land in Calgary at 1230 so they're two hours behind so it's like a four-hour plane ride but it works out we'll get there in the early afternoon and then we're coming back Sunday August 23rd we're leaving pretty early 9 55 a.m. and we're getting back to Toronto at 3 30 I'm actually so pumped so my friend Taylor she randomly messaged me and was like let's go out west and I was like okay we've never been so this has been a whole last minute decision making process and we're leaving in literally like five days which is crazy i'm not prepared at all but i'm so excited we're gonna go be going to banff we're gonna be going to jasper we're gonna be going literally all over alberta we're actually going in a total group of nine people tay and her friends are actually going to be leaving about three and a half days four days into the trip and they're gonna road trip to vancouver but alan and i are just gonna stay in alberta because there's so much to do so we're gonna stay there plus Alan has a friend that lives there so we're gonna go see him and hang out with him a bit I'm pretty excited though because we're gonna be going hiking we're gonna be going whitewater rafting we're just gonna be doing all of these freaking amazing things so I'm obviously gonna vlog the entire thing I'm so excited it is so pretty there I've never been so it's gonna be honestly amazing what is up you guys happy wednesday we are halfway through the week alan and i it's early in the morning we are going to pure later yesterday i didn't vlog as you guys saw didn't do much honestly we both worked during the day and then we went to my friend taylor's at night and we booked some airbnbs and did a bunch of planning for our trip but i told you guys before so i think in my last vlog that our king size bed was coming the mattress they tried to deliver it yesterday but we weren't home they ended up leaving a slip we're gonna go pick it up now because we need 48 hours to let the mattress actually set because we ordered it from amazon as i told you guys so we literally have to take it out of the box and like have it on our floor i think we're gonna put it on the actual frame and then put the full mattress that we have on the floor somewhere and just sleep on the floor for the next night or two but we're excited for the king size Bet. I belong, I belong to you. I belong, I belong to you. We friggin' secured the goods. It was actually so easy to put in. So now we're going home. I gotta put my seatbelt on. I should probably show you guys the bed that we got. So it's a king size, I've mentioned it. It's a 10 inch gel memory foam green tea mattress. It's from Zenus, I guess that's how you say it. Bought it from Amazon, mentioned it in my last weekly vlog. I hope it's amazing because I need it. Our king size mattress. Woohoo! Breathing. That is so weird. So it needs 48 hours to like rise, it says, but like it looks pretty perfect right now and it's yeah, it so comfy. So you guys saw in the last weekly vlog, we put the frame up. So this is supposed to be 10 inches. So I mean, I feel like it's pretty close, but it just needs to rise a little bit. Happy Thursday guys, it is Friday, June -er. That means it's almost the weekend. That means it's almost time for Alan and I to go to Alberta. I'm so friggin' excited, but I am at work right now. Thursday does mean payday, so I am doing payroll for all my guys. So I got all my paperwork here. La 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 la. I don't have much else work to do today. Plus I have an appointment at one o'clock because I'm finally getting my lashes done. It has literally been like five or six months now since I've had them because of the whole pandemic. Usually I get hybrids, which are like a mix of volumes and classics. So they look fairly dramatic. But honestly, with this whole pandemic thing, I've really been like embracing my natural self. I was like even debating like, should I even get the lashes? But 
I am going away, so I decided I will. I'm just gonna get classics, so they're just gonna look very natural. I also kind of wanted to update you guys. So Alan and I decided last night to sleep on the bed. So I know we said we were gonna let it just rise for a couple of days, but it felt really nice and it did rise pretty well. We looked online, we did a bit of research on the specific company we bought from, and a lot of people were saying that you can just sleep on it right away. And they were also saying that it's good for the compression or the decompression, I don't know. So we ended up sleeping on it and it was super Super freaking comfy. I'm so happy that we bought it. So I'm just gonna finish what I need to do, get all my work done, and you guys will see my new lashes in three, two. Woo! Lashes are done, looking fresh, looking new. Ooh, I love them. So as you guys can see, they're just classics. I'm zooming in a little bit, but they look so good. I'm so happy with them. They don't look dramatic at all, and that's what I'm, I didn't want that. I didn't want them to look dramatic because I'm going hiking and stuff. So it's not like I'm going on a beach and I need to look like really fabulous or whatever. So yeah, I freaking love them. I'm obsessed. I just got home from lashes, work, all of that good stuff. I'm gonna make a snack because I'm honestly hungry. And Mother Nature decided to come today, so I want food. I'm gonna make two eggs and then I'm gonna have it with a bagel and possibly a banana. We're gonna see how hungry I am. It's a little bit later now and Alan and I just got to our favorite place. If you can guess it, we're parked in the back, but it's Dairy Queen. I am literally craving everything right now. I told you guys it's that time of the month, so I told Alan we need to go get some Dairy Queen. So we just came back from the mall. We went to Maple View Mall, which is literally five minutes away from us, but they close really early now because of COVID. They closed at six. So we just went there quickly because we wanted to take a look at what we could find for our trip. And I ended up getting a duffel bag and it's right here. It's just this Adidas black duffel bag. I think we bought it from Bentley. I decided that I'm gonna go with a duffel bag and not a luggage. So I'm gonna do a duffel bag and a backpack because a luggage is just too much and then we have to check it in with the duffel bag I can actually use it as like my carry-on and just have it with us so it makes things a lot quicker plus I don't want to overpack I have such a bad problem with overpacking so this is gonna limit me and make me pack only what I need there he comes with my ice cream ooh, 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 look at that thank you Oreo cheesecake as always thank you love you Love me too, baby girl. You know, the thing I hate about these cars is that I cannot put my camera anywhere. Now we're at the bank, so I'm just enjoying my ice cream. So good, so good, so good. I don't know if I told you guys this, but fun fact, I used to work at Dairy Queen for four years, a really long time, so I know everything about everything about Dairy Queen. Every time I get Oreo cheesecake from this Dairy Queen, all of the good stuff is at the very top, so it looks amazing, but then when I get to the bottom, it's literally just ice cream and it's not mixed properly. What's up, you guys? Happy Friday. So I just got home. I was at work this morning, and then we picked up Alan's little brother, and they're playing video games now. So Alan's little brother is staying with us for the night, so we picked him up after work. We went shopping. We spent the whole afternoon buying a bunch of things for our trip. I just got home right now, and I have two packages that I want to share with you guys. I don't know which one I want to show you guys first. The packaging on both of them is so cute. I'll probably do this one first because it's a lot smaller. So this one I'm actually doing a collab on Instagram for this girl Sam she's kind of local to where I live she's starting a jewelry company online on Instagram called minimal Sundays which is super cute I love the name and she reached out to me and she asked if I was interested in collabing with her because she was just having her very first launch and I said of course because one I love supporting local two I love supporting women-owned businesses and three I just love jewelry so why not the first thing is this little card and it says thanks on it in gold then it says minimal Sundays so it just has like her little business card and it says Kayla we hope that you absolutely adore our angel collections and we can't wait to see how you style your angel necklace from one Canadian to another thank you minimal Sundays so freaking cute and I actually really like it because it's super thin I don't like really chunky necklaces so this is honestly perfect probably gonna be hard for you to see but it actually has like three or four little holes so you can actually choose if you want to wear the necklace shorter or longer this is what the necklace looks like very elegant very simple and modern but super cute moving on to the second package I'm actually doing a collaboration also on Instagram with Alia skincare which I'm actually super freaking pumped about if you are super into skincare and honestly if you have Instagram 
you probably have seen these Instagram ads always pop up on my account even before they contacted me I always saw the ads for this so basically it's a pink clay mask it's an Australian brand and literally I just always see it on an Instagram it's also vegan and cruelty free which hey I love that for the directions it says apply a thick even layer to clean dry skin avoid eye area eyebrows hairline and lips or until completely dry gently wash off mask and any residue so this is what it looks like outside of the box it's pretty small Ooh, it smells really good Ooh, I love how it smells okay I don't want to get this on my bed so as I said, I don't want to get this on my bed. I literally dropped the camera. That's hilarious. But basically, I took the lid off. This is what it looks like. It looks honestly so creamy and so nice and pink. I'm going to start using this and I'll probably update you guys on my next weekly vlog of how I like it and just give like a review of it, like what it did for my skin, if I'm noticing any changes, anything like that. 